So the summer is officially at an end. And I don't know, maybe this summer as part of your holidays, you went camping in the UK. And if you did, this is probably the typical experience you had. This is the classic UK camping experience. It's cold, wet, and slightly miserable. But whatever the weather's like, the forecast for Shetland next week is extremely good because it's time once again for Screenplay, the annual Shetland Film Festival, which I have been very proud to co-curate for several years. Now, in the past, we've had many guests of honour. Last year, we had Julian Temple, who directed the magnificent Oil City Confidential, the Dr. Feelgood documentary. The year before that, we had Terence Davis, who made of Time in the City, which I still think is one of the most underrated documentaries, lyrical poems of its time. This year, however, we're very proud to welcome, all the way to Shetland, Jim Broadbent, one of the UK's finest actors. Some of the things he's been in recently, he was in the Mike Lee film Another Year, which I loved, did really, really well in Cannes. He, of course, uh, had a lead role in Iris, in which he co-starred with Judi Dench. Or some of you may have seen him in the Harry Potter franchise. However, for me, Jim Broadbent's finest work is actually not on the big screen, but is a small screen production, the television movie Longford. Lord Longford was an intriguing and in many ways very divisive character. He attempted always to see the best in his fellow man. He was a great advocate of prison reform. He was a great human rights activist. And he seemed to believe that nobody was beyond redemption. And this was a belief which got him into trouble with both the press and the public when he seemed to make it his job to fight for the right for convicted Moore's murderer, Myra Hindley, to be released. He believed, unlike pretty much everyone else in the country, that Hindley had genuinely reformed, that she had done her penance, that she had served her time, that she was somebody who deserved her freedom. And this was an opinion which brought him nothing but trouble. In the TV movie Longford, the role of Myra Hindley is brilliantly played by Samantha Morton, who, as I'm sure you know, is one of my favourite actors. We've done a couple of blogs about her here at the Kermode uh, Uncut site. The role of Ian Brady is equally well played by Andy Serkis, who again is a Kermode Award winner. But in the end, the drama stands or falls on the performance of Jim Broadbent. It rests upon his shoulders, and I think he does a brilliant job, and here's why. It would be very easy to laugh at the character of Lord Longford. Indeed, at the time, he was ridiculed and vilified in the press. People saw him as a senile old man who'd somehow been seduced by this evil prisoner who had managed to convince him that she was reformed, and somehow he had just fallen under her spell. He was widely seen as somebody who was out of step with public opinion, somebody who didn't understand that there were certain things that you simply could not say in public without being ridiculed. What the drama manages to do, however, is to engage our sympathies even as we understand that some of those criticisms may be true. In fact, one of the cleverest things about the drama is that it is completely ambivalent on the subject of Longford's support of Hindley. There is a very strong suggestion all the way through that Hindley is indeed playing him, but we don't know. And what Broadbent manages to do is to give us a portrait of a man who is triumphant and yet flawed. Somebody who is trying to believe in redemption and yet somehow has an awareness that damnation may be awaiting. It's a really intelligent performance. It's very low key. It's all done on small facial gestures. It's not a film of big speeches. It's not a film of big shouts. It's not a film of great big stand-up dramatic confrontations. It is a film about somebody being increasingly isolated in their opinion. Somebody almost retreating from public opinion as they start to question their own values. For many years I was very sniffy about television. I used to think that all great work was done in cinema and somehow television was inferior. But the fact of the matter is you hold up Longford against any film of the past 10 years and it will hold its own. It's an extraordinary piece of work. If you haven't seen it, maybe you'll get yourself down to the Screenplay Festival. Come and have a look at it there in Shetland. We are very proud to welcome Jim Broadbent to the festival this year. I just hope the weather is a little bit better than this.